in order to do my pocket hole jigging I need to be able to hold hold these at a 90 these two boards so that I can put the pocket hole jig on I have these clamps but they're not wide enough so I made me a jig and all you have to do is slide the one by in there slide the other one in like that and now it's at a perfect 90 it's flat and then now I can take my pocket hole jig set it just like that drill it in and I'm good to go and that'll hold everything at a true 90 when I do this I also have a couple of other ones here that I can use to lay the boards on to keep it square so that everything's flat so should work good okay I have my jig made so now all I have to do is lays in there nice and even hold them in there tight hold this right where you need to put it like so drill them I'll just drill one, put it in, in my hole. And I've got this drill, so I don't have to keep switching. And then all you have to do, and that's how you do it. Now that that's in there, then I can line up the other one. Okay, so now these two boards, let me unzoom this thing, these two boards here have been joined and I can lift them out of my jig and there it is and that's all I have to do on every single joint and I have a bunch of them to do. Okay, I do have those pocket hole jigged together and this is the back, one of the back pieces. That one goes across the top and then down here I need to be 18 inches off the floor to the bottom of that board because I need to have the height to get over the top of that outlet. I'm going to go ahead and jig these together and do that other one and then one panel will be done. And then I need to do the other back panel and then stand them up and screw them together. Okay, the first one is done. That's the first piece on the back and now you can kind of see how this is going to be. Um, it's going to then the blue tape down there shows it'll come out two foot and then all the way across the front two foot and then another one just like this once i get the other one like that together then i'll go through and i'll screw those two together and just start working my way around okay obviously it'll be shoved in the corner but i do have these two pieces put together and what i did was i had to shim up that side because my floor is not level and i ran a level a four foot level on this side and on this side to make sure it was perfectly level when I did this and then always measure I went down one inch and then I went at one foot intervals pre-drilled them and used Torx head finish screws and these are um, eight by twos and got those all put together so that's how that's going to be and all I need to do now is I need to start making these two foot pieces on the ends that have the doors on they'll be here and also on that side there'll be a piece sticking out like that that has two doors so I'm going to start working on them. This is one of the verticals for the end piece and I need to notch this out so that the doors will sit into this groove and this is where the other board goes across so I needed to stop at three and a half I needed to come up at 26 and then I ran this through a table saw both directions to notch it and then on the ends I just use a chisel to kind of clean it out a little bit and make it so it's so it fits in there and this one here chipped away so I glued it and then I'll just leave that blue tape on for a while. So it takes some time but I'll have to do this to both sides and also the little pieces so that the door can tuck up into the wood. It takes time but it looks better when it's done. Okay I'm going to quit for the day. Um, I did get this end on here. This is notched out. That way the door can set within that little notch right there. And it kind of gives you an idea of size. It's going to be really good sized. From the corner 
out to there is five feet from here to there is five feet this is two feet there's going to be two feet coming from here this way and then across the front and it's also six foot tall and then the actual bottom will start right in there is where that'll start at the top of that split board so anyway um yeah starting to get an idea of size it's going to sit back in that corner back there and it's going to be a you know kind of a fun project so i am slowly getting this thing together um basically working on these this piece and this l shaped first and got it all squared in and then this one here was a little tricky i don't have it completely screwed yet but then i had to run that through and cut an angle on that board so that this will snug in like this and this is going to be the front portion right here and it'll slide back in that corner um, it is six feet tall, five feet from corner, both directions, and these out here are two feet. This is going to be where the doors are over here. There will be two doors on this one so that I can access it. Um, so yeah, it's coming right along, and now that I got this piece done, the rest of it is just bracing. I'm going to have to go ahead and probably cut a couple of braces in here and cut the angles and get that in there. That way I can put that flooring on there. And then I'm going to have doors right here that will fold up that will hinge up and then I can just reach in from the front with a long oh like a squeegee type thing and just pull all the bedding out and then I could reach in there with a vacuum thing too because you're not going to be able to reach that back corner it's five foot from here to there so um and then the back I have to figure out the back yet I'm going to do some burlap I've got a long ways to go but it is coming along and it's really starting to take shape I am cross bracing this in front and use these corner clamps. It keeps you at a 90, do your measurement, draw a line on each side, three quarter, and then pre-drill your, your ones here, do them even. These are little Torx head finish screws. And I have this end in. And then what I will do is I will put a small square in here to make sure this is perfectly square to line these up. And then I'll drill these in from the end down here <coughs> and down there. <coughs> and I'm almost to the point where I can put the flooring in it but what I'm going to have to do is, I believe I'm going to have to put like a block of wood in there like that. And maybe on both sides so that I have something to screw the flooring to over here. Um, I'm good on this corner, good across here, but those three back corners I will need to have that before I put the flooring in. The other thing I need to do is on the, on the top, I think I want to put another brace across this just to keep this from bowing on this side so i have one coming in over there as you can see but i don't have one here so i'm going to go ahead and put another brace across here this will have wire on top um, these backs will obviously have wire on them and then i'm going to have burlap on the inside and then i'll have the flooring in here and then i'll have these i'm going to have to put a little piece of wood also two places up and down just right on the inside underneath where you can't see it well I'll do it on the back so you can't see it and because this board here is stuck out a little farther than that one so anyway yeah just working forward on this thing it just takes some time but it's coming together